it going everyone? So today's gonna get 83. I'm gonna let the chickens out and I'm gonna open up the greenhouse. The chickens, we actually are doing something a little different because the babies weren't understanding to go in at night. The younger ones, I keep calling them babies, but the younger chickens. So what I've done is I feed them now every day and I don't let there be open feed. By feeding them every day, they have been coming out now, and that's what I want. And I want them to eat all this stuff in here because they have a, just a ton of grass and weeds and stuff down there. And then I've been putting my grass clippings there. Well, now I've been putting them in here for compost in this building here. But, so what I've been doing is soaking the feed. Because when I put it on the ground, if you put it down, you got a lot of dust in the feed that I have. Because we use, the feed we have is like that. So by soaking it, we don't get the dust. So I'm gonna do this for a while until they get used to coming out and eating. And then now every time I come down in the evening, they all go straight in. And I like to come down about an hour before dark. Cause I don't want any raccoons or owls or anything coming in and getting them. So it's been working good and we're gonna keep it up. So let's feed them. So then, now that I did that, I have an um, empty bucket. What I like to do is fill it up right away and then fill it up with water for the next day. And then what I've been doing is putting it in this trash can because I don't know, I still don't want to attempt like raccoons trying to break in in this area either. So because of our garden. Once I have that in there, four scoops, I've weighed it out. It's three pounds per scoop. So I'm actually shy a quarter of a scoop, but being they have so much to eat and we're giving them a lot of scraps out of the garden and their house, they're fine. They go to bed and their crops are full. I come here and fill it up. I stir it with the stir stick and put it back in the trash can. Come on, little guy. Get out of the way. <laughs> Did you see that? I jumped over a little tree frog. I could probably edit this out, but <laughs> I guarantee it's gonna make someone laugh, so I might as well leave it in. <laughs> leave in the comments if you think that was funny. <laughs> So Matt's down here busy working and I am all ready to package some of the things he's done with. He's got some keepsake packages that are for upcoming confirmations and first communions this weekend. So I'm gonna get those packaged out and shipped out right away.
So you're probably wondering, why are you on the ground mat? Well, it's kind of in the afternoon and I'm tired, I'm gonna take a nap. No, I'm just kidding. We have tape and see this? This is an on button and my little son, Eli, likes to shut that off. So I'm gonna put tape over it. Now he can't see the button. <laughs> just too much for you. Man, what a great day. So we, uh, <laughs> we went into working today as let's eat lunch downstairs and get as much stuff as we had, we can done. We had 70 open orders. So we went at it and I am down to 18 left and feels good. So been a really productive day and we also got a phone call and I'm trying to hold back my excitement <laughs> that uh, have some really good stuff happening with our business. So super pumped about that really cool uh blew me out of the water wasn't expecting it but i'm not gonna say nothing yet because i don't want to jinx myself so when that comes i will let you know in the vlog um but also why i'm in another really good mood is <laughs> we have always had you know the occasion mouse or two get in the house and every year no big deal and you live in the country you gotta expect it right well <laughs> i've always tried to find out where they're getting in and I'm pretty sure I found the hole where they're getting in. So I clogged the hole and I'm gonna find out, I guess, this winter <laughs> if it worked. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was where they were coming in. <laughs> so one thing as a family we always do now whenever we get new chickens <clears throat> and we do it during the summer we alumna we got it from him is <laughs> so we always count our eggs and we always guess i should say and then count the eggs and see who's right so how many eggs do you think we got 10. so yeah i'm gonna Got a mosquito. I'm gonna go in, sit, go and get the boys ready for bed here soon, and do a couple things in the garden maybe. Well, yeah, we go in every night. We always save up Al Alumna's movies or YouTube's and Monday through Friday. It's like a bedtime thing. We do it every evening when the boys and I and even Sarah will sit down in the living room and Lydia and we watch Al Alumna. But tonight. It is Tuesday, and every Tuesday we do a live. Um, we don't do a live, we're on the live, and it's called Southern Bless Homestead with Mac and Patty, and they are so much fun. So if you guys want, come over and say hi to us in, in the chat. More than welcome to, it's eight o'clock. So it's a lot of fun, and look them up. I'll put their name in, I'll put their link in the description below. But it's a lot of fun, they're just great people. A lot of laughs, so if you're looking for a good laugh, come on over and talk with us. <laughs> well, I found the culprit. We couldn't figure out what was eating our strawberries, and I can't believe it. Freaking hornets. Hornets are eating them. I can't believe it. I went to grab a strawberry, and I got stuck in the hand. I was like, what the heck? I look, and there's a huge hole in there, and three hornets are coming out of it. Well now, I know why our strawberries, I know what's eating them, dang hornets. Never seen that happen before. 
I'll have to put out a hornet trap, get rid of them things. So you know how the strawberries were eaten from the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> guess what it is, I found the culprit. What you, what's your guess? Move your hand, I can't hear you. Bird. Bird? What about yeah. you, Mom? I guess a mouse. A mouse? Wrong. What was it? Hornets. Uh, that makes sense. You know what I found out? I went to grab one, and there was hornets coming out the bottom of it, and I got stung. Oh! <laughs> Ouch, I'm glad it was you and not there one was of the a lot kids, of them. but that stinks. It's crazy, so I'm gonna have to make a trap for tomorrow and set it up there. Okay, guess how many eggs? Five. Fourteen. Ooh, ten. Eli. Eli! Are you helping? Just stop picking these out this drawer! Eli, that's not helping, that's going to reverse. <laughs> All right, so we have a mess to pick up because Eli, so we're <laughs> going to close it out here <laughs> and put the kids to bed. Aww. So, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. It helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe. Glad Bye. you got to see us again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>